Hi, my name's Henry Stevenson, and I just thought I'd do you a quick video on the potential pitfalls in buying Blue Center Feed. So the first thing you need to know about Blue Center Feed is that you should be looking on the label of the product for this little logo here. This is the CHSA logo, which is the Cleaning and Hygiene Suppliers Association. And if it's got that logo on it, it does what it says on the label. So let's just go through the top four potential issues with buying Blue Roll or the potential cheats uh, from uh, certain less scrupulous suppliers than ourselves. Number one, length. So as described here, ours is 150 metre. Um, there's a lot of products out there that go down to 125 metre, 120 metre, 105 metre, 90 metre. It's getting like a domestic kitchen roll more than an actual commercial product. Uh, the next obvious one is width. Uh, so ours is 180 mil wide. But some of these things go down to a domestic toilet roll size these days. Uh, they get very narrow. There are some cheats to make blue roll look wider and bigger than it is. Um, so you will find that um, certain manufacturers can blow out the product or emboss the product. Um, both of which actually cause issues with the quality of the product because it weakens the fibres um, in the product. Um, but it will make it look big. So the way to get around that, if you're really into your blue roll, is to weigh it. Weigh what you're using and weigh the competition, and that'll tell you actually how much paper and bulk product is in there. Next little cheat, let me just consult here, um, is the quality of the bonding and quantity of the bonding agent within the blue roll. So we're going length and width are easy. We're going a little bit more complicated here. So a bonding agent is added to a, a, a good quality blue roll, uh, which effectively gives it wet strength. So not many people use blue roll and just use it dry. They're mopping things up or they're cleaning with it. So when it gets wet, what you want to make sure it doesn't do is start breaking up all over the place and clumping, um, which basically means you need to get more blue roll that's drier to clean up the wet blue roll that you've left on the surface. And number four, uh, very importantly as well, is the quality of the recycled paper used within the blue roll. So if you get a lot of office recycle it in, in there, which is only which has only been through one recycling process, then that's actually pretty good because the lengths of the fibre still remain pretty long. So virgin uh, paper fibre is very long, so it's very easy for them to for all the little paper fibres to bond together with each other. But each step of recycling that, that paper goes through, those fibres get smaller and smaller until it's very difficult for them to bond together at which point you then have a problem with your blue roll. And that problem will manifest itself in that when you actually go to clean a product, uh, say you go to clean a window or a mirror, and you find you've got a sort of a streaky uh, finish afterwards, those are actually bits of recycled uh, paper fibre left on your window or mirror. So another key factor for me also is consistency of supply, and this is really, really critical at the moment. Uh, we work with one of the largest uh, manufacturers of paper and blue roll in Europe and the world. Um, if you work with smaller converters, you will find that they shop around a lot more for different types of grade of paper. So whilst one week you might get a great product, the, week, the next week you might get something that's pretty poor and has one of the products that we've highlighted. Um, so that's really uh, the key to buying Blue Roll. So please bear that in mind when you buy it. Um, ours isn't necessarily the cheapest when you, um, when you see the headline price, but we definitely believe that it represents best value for money. Thanks very much and please visit us on stevensons.com.